looking for the facts Well, you done came to the right place You now checked in with Blog partner, blog partner Blog partner, blog partner Blog partner, blog partner Blog partner, blog partner Here it is, here it is, it's your boy Blog Partner, back up in this thing one more again, and I gotta start it off like I always do, letting y'all know I really appreciate each and every last one of y'all, because without y'all, this thing wouldn't be growing legs like it's doing. I'm picking up friction, you know what I'm saying, people talking about me, this thing buzzing, and I'm loving it, and I ain't gonna let y'all down, man, I'm gonna keep on coming with what's trending, you know what I'm saying, what's the greatest and what's the latest. Yeah, and I hope I catch all of y'all in the best of health and nothing else. So yeah, with that being said, man, continue to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, and keep on passing the word. So yeah, man, I got a, I'm going to speak on Jelly Roll, man, I'm going to speak on Jelly Roll right now. Shots out to Jelly Roll. Yeah, man, uh, I just checked out this documentary on, Je on Jelly Roll, I think it was on Hulu. It was on Hulu, you know what I'm saying? The Jelly Roll was, um, he, he was telling his life story, man, and I ain't even going to sugarcoat it, man. I shed it a couple of tears. The whole time, you know what I'm saying, I was, I was fighting back tears, but this one particular time in, in the um, documentary, a couple of tears came out of my face, you know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted y'all to know that, man. But yeah, man, um, I got like a little history with Jelly Roll. I'm, I'm gonna put y'all up on it, you know what I'm saying? I, I met Jelly Roll. The reason why I'm letting y'all know this because his documentary, he was telling his life story, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure a lot of people got history with Jelly Roll. I'm gonna tell y'all my history on Jelly Roll and my reaction to the, um, to the documentary first i'm gonna say my reaction to the documentary man it was real like i said i shed a couple of tears i didn't know that he had did um that he had gave a quarter million to the juvenile detention that he was always in and out of you know what i'm saying i didn't know that heads off to that man y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think about that that was a big boy move and then he went to the bridgestone right before he done the the sold out show at the bridgestone his first time doing that there and he had done like an interview in the lobby like before everybody got there and he was he was saying that he wanted a lot of his mu musician friends that's making all this money riding up and down broadway to do the same thing so heads off to that you know what i'm saying and um he was just telling it you know like when i met him he was a rapper you know what i'm saying and it's crazy when i met him <laughs> i was a rapper and I had a little motion, you know what I'm saying? I'm from a little city uh, up under Nashville, close to Nashville, like 20 minutes away. And I was going to this club called the Outer Limits back in the day, you know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, I had motion, you know, I, I, I was rapping, I had put out my little CD, and you know, I was I, I was in the streets, I, I was what you call heavy, whatever. So I went to the Outer Limits and they had this freestyle battle. I ain't really no good freestyle about, I ain't really no good freestyler, but like I said, I had most, and I'm thinking I'm finna get up there with these CDs, throw my CDs out and roast whoever. So when I went down into the little room to see who I'm finna go against, I'm looking, when they were pointing at him, I'm looking like him, I'm finna go against him. It was like a little, like a little chubby white kid. He had like plaits, like the silly cell plaits in his head. I think he had a toboggan on and he was just sitting in there like, Kind of reminded me of the Eminem movie, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how it was, for real. So, I'm looking at him like, never seen him in my life. I'm like, man, I'm finna roast this dude. Y'all really, I'm really finna go against him? All right, so, we get out there, get on the stage, and it's dunk, you know what I'm saying? Out of limits, was dunk. Man, we get out there on that stage, bro. <laughs> I swear to God. Shouts out to Jelly Roll. He beat me, y'all. I'm talking about... I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? He beat me. I was kind of mad, like embarrassed and everything. Like, how this little white dude beat me, little chubby white dude with the plaits and all that. But he 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 had his mind right. That's what he was doing down in that room. He was down there getting it together. I'm thinking when I seen him, I got him. But that wasn't the situation. But okay, so so that passed right there. So a couple of years later, a year or two later, I'm at a store. I'm at a gas station. I think it was like Harden Place or on Antioch or somewhere. And uh, I'm, I'm at the gas station, and he he had just got out of juvenile. One of, like you say, he was in and out of juvenile. He had just got out of juvenile, and we recognized each other. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have a place then. His hair was, was long. I guess he had took his place or whatever, braids down or whatever. So we chopped it up at the gas station. He might not remember this, but he might will. So we chopped it up at the gas station, and he remembered. We didn't have no bad blood. I was like, man, you the one beat me in the freestyle battle. 
And I also I went against All Star. Shouts out to Starlito. Starlito had the crowd with him, and plus he was bumping too. He beat me too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he remember that, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, but yeah, back to Jelly Roll. And yeah, man, we um we formed the, we formed a bond. You know what I'm saying? In the, through the rap thing, and um, I we had mutual people. You know what I'm saying? I, I ran across him a couple of more times, a couple of more times. And one thing about Jelly Roll, he always had this drive, like. I knew he was gonna be something. I thought it was gonna be in rap though. I didn't, it wasn't no country involved, you know what I'm saying? He was straight rapping. And um, yeah, he had, uh, like like we, the cities, the cities are close together. So I kept running into him and he kept showing love, you know what I'm saying? The, the things he was saying about being on drugs and all that, I never could get that vibe off of it. Maybe he was, but I know I was drugging, thugging and all that back then. So my mind wasn't all the way clear. But I do remember the times with him. Share something else with you. Okay, so SEA Awards. They had the SEA Awards down in Memphis, out there at Tunica, Mississippi, slash Memphis. So Jelly Roll, by this time, he up in his rap thing, and um, he was connected. I think he was rocking with Jazz them back then, you know what I'm saying? Cross track, shouts out to Jazz. And um, Jelly Roll here, uh, we met we met over there at a Platinum Bound. There was a record shop called Platinum Bound in Nashville, Cashville. And Jelly Roll here hooked us up with a whole lot of tickets for the low low. Everybody from where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? It was like 20 of us, you know what I'm saying? A couple of people from up Nashville. It was like an entourage. So when we went down there, of course, you know, Jelly Roll, he was the freestyling thing. So Pac-Man Jones was playing for the Titans at the time. He was down there. First time meeting Pac-Man Jones. It was a couple of us, you know what I'm saying? City Paper, I think, was there. Stalito, I think all of them was there. But Jelly Roll... He took the stage, he was on his freestyle thing and he was serious about it. So I, I'm telling y'all this story because we got into the lobby, it was some guys from uh, H-Town, Houston, Clover G's or whatever, Flip Boys, little Flip Boys. And they were talking about they could freestyle this and that. Jelly wasn't playing it, he was dead serious about that freestyling. And Pac-Man Jones, he knew Jelly was from Nashville, so we all in the lobby, Pac-Man, he got a suit on, you know what I'm saying? He out there looking like a pimp. Pac-Man got a bag with him, like a briefcase full of money. He telling them folks, man, he, I got all the money on Jelly Roll. I don't know if he remember this. Shouts out to Pac-Man, Jelly Roll and Pac-Man. I don't know if they remember this, but this really happened. I was deaf. But yeah, man, we almost started a ride out there. We all supporting Jelly Roll and Pac-Man. He come up with that bag and Jelly was finna freestyle against them guys. I don't think it ever happened, but they're just a memorable moment that I had with Jelly Roll, you know what I'm saying? And um. What else? I got a song with him, you know what I'm saying? He came to our city, came to the studio, didn't charge us a dime. You know what I'm saying? And um, he didn't charge us a dime. He was always genuine. He was always about his craft, you know what I'm saying? And um, like if I see him, it ain't number love. I never burnt no bridge with him. I don't get in his DM. I don't bug him. I don't do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't about that, but um, it ain't number love, man. And um, back to the documentary, I just want to tell y'all some about him to let y'all know that I know him. And I'm gonna show I'm gonna show a couple of pictures of us at the end of this video, you know what I'm saying? So uh but yeah man um never saw the never saw the, the the country part coming just like he said in this documentary. The documentary made me know more about him like stuff that I didn't know. That's why I was saying man it it had me kind of fighting back tears because it's like I didn't grow up with him, I wasn't in his clique or nothing like that, man, but I but I seen him. Like when I seen him in that room, like I said, the little chubby white kid. I'm thinking I'm finna beat him in this rap thing, but he was by himself in there and he was really, you know what I'm saying, to see, to see how he done came, man, I'm just so happy for him. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, the thing about his daughter, and he was expressing all that, man, all that was touching me. And then the one part in the documentary, when the woman said, I think somebody, um, I think somebody done, done something to somebody in front of the daughter, the other daughter, you know what I'm saying, this old lady, they didn't even know him. But they said the song saved me, it, it, it did something to him. And everybody was crying when it came up to him. It was just touching me, cause I'm like, man, this man right here really special. All the stuff he done been through, man, he really he really here for a reason, you know what I'm saying? And he ain't sugarcoat nothing in the documentary. He telling you how it is, like take it or leave it. He, he saying what he want to say, you know what I'm saying? He, he going and selling out these venues and man, I, I love to see him get the key to the city. He probably already got it, I don't know, but I love to see that, man, because, like I said, I'm not that far away from him. But when I go to Nashville, I'm thinking Jelly Roll. It's always in my head, like, man, this is Bruh City. You know what I'm saying? So y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think about that, man. Y'all go check out this documentary. 
and it's, it's gonna blow your mind man it's some real stuff you know what i'm saying and um yeah just go check it out man and get in the comments let me know what y'all think about that and until the next time oh and if it grows more legs i'll get back with you you know what i'm saying but to the next time there it is it's over with blog partner i'm out of this thing oh hold on one more thing and i'm finna post these pictures of back in the day you know what i'm saying and one of them is kind of recent of me and jelly roll you know what i'm saying so hope y'all enjoy i'm out of here peace Sursky.